We first brought you this story as breaking news earlier this week. The body of 24 year old Jalen Shaw recovered Monday with a coroner identifying the body on Tuesday. Kajasia Hawkins now joins us live here in the studio with what we know about this case. Kajasia. Johnetta Shaw says that her son Jalen was a very kind, intelligent boy, and her and her family are deep in, are deeply shocked and broken by the loss of his life. Hearing the news, like I said, it's nothing that I've ever entertained in my mind or imagined. Johnetta Shaw, Jalen's mother, says that she was shocked by the news. Jalen has schizophrenia, and throughout the year, she let Dayton Riverside Police know about his mental health issues. And she says they were always understanding of Jalen's condition. And it was not uncommon for her to get calls from police. But when she got the call from authorities Sunday about his death, she was shocked. Jalen was her only son and second child to the family. He was enrolled at Otterbein University and was extremely gifted. And Johnetta says that she has always been an advocate for her son's mental health. And as she remembers her son's life, she encourages others to do the same. He was loving, he was my son, he was brilliant, and he had an illness. That's the bottom line of it. Um, there were good days and there were hard days. And just as an advocate, I would say if you have a loved one that is going through anything, it's not a situation where you tell them, hey, just, you know, get it together or you need to do this or you need to do that. It's a it's an illness and what you need to do is support them. Always be an open door and show compassion. Jalen's funeral will be held Tuesday, August 22nd at 11 a.m. with a viewing preceding it at 10 a.m. If you want to learn more about how to support the family, visit our website at WDTN.com. Reporting live in the studio, Kajaja Hawkins, 2 News.